Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for the tech stock in the United States uh, for Thursday, uh, uh, October 8, 2020. And if you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos, which we do now on a daily basis. So, well, what can you say? Uh, Donald Trump's uh, Twitter feed can certainly uh, wreak havoc on this market for, uh, for the good and probably also for the bad, for the uh, bad and also for the good, I was supposed to say. But in yeah. essence, when Donald Trump um, tweeted that uh, there would be no more stimulus uh, before the election, this market absolutely tanked. But you have to keep in mind that it did not tank as much as it should have done. So it tanked towards, for example, you take the, the Netflix, for example, and this is the same case for most of the stocks. They tanked to Netflix, for example, it tanked towards the 50 million average. We didn't even get close to the 50 million average. And today we have an absolutely bullish run. So keep in mind that this is without any stimulus, and there's not going to be any stimulus uh, before the election. It is technically impossible at this point. Not impossible, but it's highly unlikely that Republicans and Democrats will uh, make a stimulus bill now before the election. Donald Trump has technically killed that opportunity. Um, so we have this massive growth without any stimulus. Uh, if that is a bullish shine, if the market are completely overreacting at this point, probably, because we had the Fed chairman come out yesterday saying that in order for this, uh, uh, for the economy to get back on its feet, we need to take this more stimulus. And that is very true. It is a combination of stimulus or government expanding, uh, spending money and the Federal Reserve basically propping up the markets that will get this market back on track. So, at this point, I, I technically, we, we may go to the upside here, but I do believe that we're going to break down and, 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 and quite significantly. That is just my hunch. Um, but for these videos, Let's just stick to the to the technical indicators. So, for these stocks that we're going to look at, most of them have, are doing extremely well today, except for uh, Facebook. Facebook. Facebook is uh, minus, but it's 0 0.03. We'll start up looking at Netflix. Netflix is up uh, above 5% today. And we went from yesterday's bottom to today, today's high is roughly, roughly 6.41%. Uh, that is just gigantic for two days of trading. Uh, the technical indicators for Netflix at the moment are really bullish. Uh, you can look at the MACD, it's, it's really uh, bullish, and the same goes for RSI. We're not overbought yet, but we're nearly there. Stochastic, stochastic is also very bullish. We're about to cross the same line again. However, the bullish band could indicate that we are very overstretched at this point. And I do believe that is the case. I don't think we're going higher than this. That is, I just don't think that we're going higher than this. I think we'll have uh, probably tomorrow or Friday a major pullback towards back towards the 50 uh, moving average. And we'll see a lot of choppy trading before the election. Um, this market needs government, for the government's stimulus in order to go higher. And at this moment, we just have random tweets from the, United, the President of the United States. We may go as low as the 100 moving average, which is at the moment at $481. If you look at Microsoft, we are trading, has also rallied, but we are trading underneath the 50 moving average. We are trading in between the 100 and the 50 moving average. Technical 
indicators for Microsoft are very bullish. MACD uh, is about the signal line, the RSI is not nearly, it's not, it's not even close to the old bot. It is very, um, it's very bullish. The same goes for the, um, for the stochastic. It's also about to cross the signal line again. And in the Bollinger Bands, it's not just showing a lot of volatility. We're just basically flat at this point. We have been flat for, uh, for, for, uh, for nearly two weeks now. Uh, we did have a break above the 50 million average, but it broke down significantly then. So I do believe that we are going to just trade choppy uh, in between these two moving averages um, until the election. If we were to break to the upside, then of course this area here will be fairly resistant. A break to the downside, we have the 100 moving average. We also have these uh, previous lows of $196. Uh, and that is probably as low as this market is going to go. So if you look at Apple, we are trading just at the uh, 50 moving average. Um, we're just on the 50 moving average. And I, similar to the other, te the other tech stocks, I don't expect this market to explode to the upside. And I don't even I expect this market to completely collapse. There will be just be a lot of choppiness up uh, until the election. Uh, we need stimulus for this market to go higher. Um, I'm more favoring, favoring um, a pull to the downside. Uh, for example, here, I did expect uh, Apple stock to go all the way towards the 100 moving average and then bounce. We never ever tested the 100 moving average. And before we go higher, I, I, it's not just a feeling. I just uh, expect that this market to go towards 100 moving average before we go higher from here. Technical indicators for, for Apple are really flat at this point. MACD uh, is flat, the RSI, more bullish than flat. It's not overbought or oversold. And the stochastic is also flat at this point. And the same goes pulling your back. Nothing's really happening in, in the Apple stock at this point. If we were to break, break to the upside, we would run into quite a lot of resistance at this area here. If we were to break through the downside, we would find resistance within that area there. So we're just hanging around at this point at the 50 moving average. And uh, at this point, I do believe we'll just go sideways. Otherwise, we will go towards the 100 moving average before we go higher. If you look at Amazon, Amazon has been rallied up towards the 50 moving average and then has basically stopped uh, just underneath the 50 moving average. If we were to break the 50 moving average, we would find resistance around this area here. Uh, if we were to break down, then we have the 100 moving average, which will act as resistance support. So at this point, the technical indicators for, for Amazon are fairly bullish. Uh, the MACD is above the signal line, the RSI is also quite bullish. The, the, the stochastic is crossed and has basically changed direction. It's going to cross the signal line, indicating bullish momentum. And at this point, I believe by now it isn't really explaining anything that, that much interesting. But we need to break the 50 moving average. We did do that uh, a few uh, trading days ago. Uh, otherwise, if we get rejected here, we could work our way down towards the 100 moving average before going higher. If you look at Tesla, Tesla is uh, up over 3% today. We and the um, Blue line here, which is uh, 20 exponential moving average, is fairly resistant, as is the 40 and the 50 exponent, uh, moving average. Um, at this point, we probably will go higher. We will find resistance at uh, this area here, which we have tested several times in the, in the past trading days. If we were to break down, then the 50 moving average is significant resistant. And uh, now let's see that resistance support at the $385. And if you look at the technical indicators, they are mixed 
R Mati is uh, trade underneath a signal line. Um, RSI is looking a little bit better, but very flat. And the stochastic is all over the place. Uh, it's about to cross the signal line in the beginning of the world. But uh, to these levels, it's probably as high as this stock will go before the United States election. If you look at Facebook, then Facebook has broke down significantly towards the 50 moving average and then rallied again. Um, this is not a really good sign for, for Facebook. I do believe we'll go and test the 100 moving average before going higher. If you look at the technical indicators, it's technically only the, the, signal, the RSI that is bullish. Other indicators are either flat or very bearish at this point. So it would make sense if we went down towards the 50 moving average, like my 100 moving average, like we did, uh, did previously at around $249, and then we went higher. There is a lot of resistance within this area here. We have the two exponential moving averages and the 50 moving average above, and this entire area here, you probably include in this area here, will act as resistance. So it would make sense that we'll just um, go towards the 50 moving, the 100 moving average and then bounce from there in order to get momentum. If we look at Google as the last one, um, Google is very similar to Facebook. We'll most likely go towards the 200 moving average before um, going through all of this uh, resistance here. We have, we're trading underneath the 100, the 20, 40 exponential, and the 50 moving average. So there's just a lot of work for, um, for Google stock in order to get through this um, Technically, I don't see this market going higher with any stim without any stimulus. It may rally up towards this area here, but there's just too much resistance for this market to go higher. And there's just too much support at this point to go lower than the 200 moving average. So we'll probably stay within this area here before anything happens, um, major events happen in the United States economy. So if you find this video helpful, you're welcome to support our channel by hitting the sorry hitting the subscribe button down in the corner you help us really grow this channel and we will add more contact uh, contact uh, of course um, and hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest video uh, good luck and uh, uh, keep an eye out for Donald Trump's Twitter feed they can basically destroy your uh, trading account good luck and and happy trading.